Massive shout out to Blazing Boost for sponsoring today's video. If you guys are struggling to get anything Destiny 2 related, this is definitely the place to check out. If you guys are struggling to get Flawless, do the Grandmasters or even the Raids, then check them out with the link in the description. Not only that, they do also have a 5 star trust pilot review with over 25,000 reviews. So if that doesn't say it's trustworthy, I don't know what it does. And if you use code UNSTOPPABLE at checkout, you will get a 5% discount. Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to be showing you probably one of the best hunter builds I've created in a very long time. Now, I know I've done a lot of hunter builds this season, but you guys absolutely love them. Honestly, every like goal we set, you guys smash it. So if we get 200 likes, I'll make a new one. But this one is super fun to use. It's quite good at the end game and it's an all well-rounded build. So if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. We're coming very close to that 40,000 mark. So if we could get that by Christmas, I would really appreciate it. So I know I beg a lot, but please subscribe. Turn on them notifications. And the like goal for today's video is 200 likes. If this build gets 200 likes, I will make another one. And hopefully you guys do enjoy that one as well. But with that said, let's jump straight into it. So the build we are running is going to be an arc build. Now we are using Gathering Storm Super. You can use Blade Dancer if you want. It's not going to Blade Dancer, Arc Staff from D1 obviously. Either one works really well. Next we have got Gambler's Dodge, Triple Jump. You can use anything you want for them. This one is definitely a must. Make sure you have Combination Blow. It's going to be a lot better. Quick Strike that temporarily increases your melee damage when defeating a target stacking three times. Then we do have Pulse Grenade, probably the best nade you can get on Arc. Lethal Current. After dodging, your next melee attack has an increased lunge range, jolts targets and creates a damaging aftershock. Then we do have Flow State. Defeating a jolted target makes you amplified. Now for the fragments, we have spark of resistance while surrounded you are more resistant to incoming damage this is a really good one especially because we are using our melee quite a lot so this is going to come in very handy so we don't take that much damage next we have a spark of magnitude arc grenades pulse grenades last longer so that's why we have that then we do have a spark of shock so we are jolting targets and spark of recharge while critically root wounded your melee and grenade energy regenerates more quickly this build is absolutely insane and you'll see in the gameplay weapon wise to be fair you don't really need a certain weapon for this build to work the build just works on its own but you could even pair it with a one two punch shotgun that's the only thing i can suggest weapon wise but the rest is up to you i don't use a one two punch shotgun but i know a few people with this build do and it does make it a little bit better but I just haven't got a really good one that's going to change my mind on the Tarnish Metal and Wither Horde. So, but try it out. Let me know if it is a lot better and I'll try and grind for one. Now, next we're going to talk about stats. Stats wise, obviously, end game we want 100 resilience. And the next one you're going to want really is, I'd say, discipline. Because we are going to get our melee back quite often anyway. So definitely make sure you get your discipline up after resilience. For the mods we are running is a resilience mod hands-on doubled so we gain bonus super energy on melee kills so we'll be able to fly through our super and use it quite often really handy for the end game sort of grandmasters now this thing that makes the build really good liar's handshake you guys know arc builds this thing melts so we have got resilience mod impact induction focusing strike so when we are using our melee we're getting a class ability not only that, we have got Elemental Ordinance. Defeating a combatant with a grenade spawns Elemental Well that matches your subclass type. And the perk on this is using your Arc Melee ability or being hit by a melee attack will allow you to follow up with an extremely powerful melee counter punch that will heal you. This thing will do a lot of damage and not only that, it will heal you. So I don't know what you could sort of use that's any better than that for an Arc build. Then we do have Vest of Exile, our chest piece, Resilience Mod, Thermoshock Plating, Concussive Dampener and Font of Wisdom. Picking up an Elemental Well 
matches your subclass energy type grants you an increase in intellect so we're getting our super back even quicker with this while meleeing as you can see it all synergizes into one with the super in these mods which is why it makes a build super good then we do have resilience mod absolution reduces all ability cooldowns each time you pick up a orb of power this thing does help quite a lot especially for the super your melee if someone creates an orb and you pick it up you're going to be getting your nade and your dodge back super quick then we do have melee well maker obviously we are using our melee for this build so it's only right we do have the well maker on and then finally for the last one we are running a mine resilience mod surge detonators arc grenades disrupt combatants stunning them so it is strong against overload champions because we'll be able to stun them and then we do have bad amplitude which is damaging a champion with an arc ability causes a champion to become jolted so we can use our melee as well and bountiful wells so we do spawn more and obviously can stack them but that is a build what i'm going to do is i'm going to get you some gameplay with it show you the melee in action hopefully you guys do enjoy this build if you do leave a like subscribe and as always i will catch you in the next one